Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good afternoon, Senators. My name is Gary G A R R Y Grenant G E R N A N D T. I'm an Omaha City Council member representing District 4 in the southeast section of our wonderful city. Recently, the Omaha City Council uh, had a majority vote to oppose LB 68. I'm also a 31-year veteran of the Omaha Police Department, 11 of which I served as an investigator and a detective. Law enforcement's toolkit, if you will, was very limited back then, and it's still limited today. For many years, the city of Omaha has had a gun registry that is in compliance with state and federal laws. That tool is used to track guns used in crimes. And, and we all know, we heard it once or twice here today, criminals don't register guns. Yep, no argument from me. But three years ago, I was a victim of burglary. Five teenagers broke into my home, ransacked my bedroom and my office, and they had money, jewelry, camera equipment, computer, gun, and ammunition stuffed in their backpacks. My awesome no nosy neighbor saw it, called 911, and all five were apprehended inside my house. The oldest of the five was in possession of a stolen handgun, not mine. And prior to sentencing, he turned 18, and he's currently serving nine to 13 years in the Nebraska State Penitentiary. Had my gun not been registered and subsequently used in another crime, that piece of that crime puzzle would be troubling at least. So in closing, Omaha's gun registry works and it's not in conflict with the state concealed carry law. If it's this committee's desire to advance this bill, at least consider thoughtfully exempting out or grandfathering in the Omaha's ordinance. In my professional opinion, the proposed changes in LB 68 are not needed and would be harmful to public safety. It should be a matter left up, best left to local control. I respectfully ask this committee not to advance LB 68. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Uh, Senator Blood. Thank you, Senator Moranti. And thank you, Councilman, for your testimony. I, I gotta throw in a quick shot at you, though. You and I judged a kolach eating competition together, and I still say you picked out the wrong ones. Um, with that said, <laughs> Um, I didn't know that we, was going to be held against me. I thought we needed some levity. Um, I thought you brought up a very valid point, and I just wanted to clarify and make sure that I heard it correctly. And I think I, I said the same thing earlier as well. What I'm hearing is that this is about transportation, and I'm seeing, and, and hopefully Senator Hilgers can clarify, that it's covered under federal law when you transport a weapon. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing that I've heard from our local law enforcement, from Omaha law enforcement, is that the certificates, the intent is that it's not going to stop violent crime when nobody's really claiming that it does. But it's a tool that's utilized to try and track where a gun came from. And it's one that's frequently used. Did I hear you correctly that that's, that it's, it's one of the, the few tools that they have in their toolbox mm -hmm. that there may be a stolen gun and although they may not know initially where that gun came from, they might be able to track it through those certificates that after they get to the second or third layer, they find that Joe Blow was the original owner and he reported it stolen mm -hmm. in 2010. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? That, that is correct, Senator. Um, please keep in mind that when that, a type of, this type of investigation is started, the goal is to make sure they have an airtight case getting it to court. <coughs> Every single aspect has to be looked at. And you remove a tool that has the potential of creating a loophole, I would urge you not to do that. And 
do not advance LB 68 because the potential, the language in here, in, in my opinion, would do just that. And as a former law enforcement officer, now as a, as a legislator in Omaha, we, we do our darndest not to provide uh, <coughs> negative impacts towards our community. I know that it's difficult. You, <laughs> you're doing it for the state of Nebraska. So I, I again, I would urge you, let, let's not put the citizens of our great state and I'm, and I'm speaking for my district in Southeast Omaha, not to advance LB-68. Thank you. Any final questions? Seeing none, thank you for coming down and thank you for your service to the city of Omaha. Thank Much you. Appreciated.